everybody, welcome back to NAM 2007. This is the Winter NAM Show, and we are at the Tascam booth. Uh, and I'm here with uh, Jim Van Buskirk, who is a software developer with Tascam, to talk about the latest version of the GVI Giga Virtual Instrument, which we covered, uh, GearWire covered uh, back in uh, uh, AES uh, a few months ago when uh, the uh, Tascam Giga Studio standalone product was rolled out as a virtual instrument uh, uh, running on VST hosts. So, Jim, I wanted you to tell us a little bit about the, uh, some new updated features in uh, the GVI. Well, probably the coolest thing is that now you can have all the power of Giga Studio uh, in a, a virtual instrument um, where the, uh, the plugins, all these companies, all the, the logos you see here are companies who have adopted the, the power of Giga, but these products are shipping as individual virtual instruments. Uh, Interesting. So would you say that uh, you provided a wrapping technology? That's basically it, yeah. But and the, the cool thing is that this is a, has got all the power of Giga under the hood. The, the, the convolution technology, all the, um, uh, the polyphony and uh, efficiency advantages that the, the Giga users have become accustomed to. So let me see if I uh, have this straight. If uh, someone were to provide their own instrument using your wrapper, uh, do they have the option of providing it as VST or standalone? Um, yes, when, when you start up the instrument, these are icons just on the desktop. You can fire those up uh, in standalone mode, and in which case they go through the ASIO driver or the Windows driver, or in the upcoming Mac version, uh, you know, also in, in the RTAS. And uh, speaking of which, uh, what's, uh, what's the estimated ship date on the uh, Mac version? Well, being an engineer, I, I don't have that information, but uh, I can tell you that I've seen it working, and, and it's, it's moving along very quickly. He's saying that it would be faster if he weren't here. <laughs> yeah. Jim, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you, Ron.